Hello, Dr. Minkoff. Morning, Michelle. I wonder if you would tell us today about chronic Lyme disease treatment. Describe to us what is chronic Lyme disease, when does it become chronic, what are the symptoms, and how do you go about treating it at LifeWorks? Okay, so Lyme disease is thought to be an illness spread by ticks. I think it could include other insects that bite people. When they bite you, they have already been infected with several different organisms. We screen people for about eight or ten different ones that can be part of this picture which causes what is called Lyme disease. Originally this was a single bacteria. It was called Borrelia burgdorferi. It was discovered in Lyme, Connecticut and that's how the name got that's how the disease got its name but really most people have more than one organism that sort of causes this chronic picture um, symptom wise initially a person gets a bite they may get a a rash that is diagnostic it's a bullseye uh, they may have a little bit of fever malaise at that time if it's diagnosed by an alert physician and they even see it that there was a tick bite or even see that there was a tick on them uh, they could get acute treatment with antibiotics, it will resolve the issue, and they could be fine. In many of the cases, probably 60 to 80 percent of the time, the person doesn't know they had a tick bite, they don't get the rash, they don't know when they got it, they don't know what's wrong, and then some period afterwards, it could be six months, a year, five years, they start to get progressive symptoms, which can be anything from fatigue to rashes to low-grade fevers, to things that are look like other things, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, uh, and, uh, and go to their doctor looking for what's wrong. And usually in many of these cases, unless the physician is very alert, he is not looking for Lyme as a diagnosis, and so it's never looked for. Um, it's in epidemic proportions now. We see many, many Lyme patients, and I know there's doctors all over the United States as well as Europe and Asia where people are now presenting with these symptoms. Um, there is something that can be done about it. The first thing is, is you have to figure out that this is what is wrong and then you have to have a treatment that will actually target these organisms and kill them. One of the problems with chronic Lyme disease is this bacteria is very smart and it can go into a dormant phase or it can live inside of cells or inside of tissues where antibiotics can't get to it or where antibiotics don't work. So in our experience, chronic antibiotic treatment, a month or six months of antibiotics, by the time we see a person with chronic illness, uh, with chronic Lyme, doesn't usually work. So we're using other methods, uh, more natural methods, to try to target the bug and improve the overall immune system of the patient so that they can fight back. And often we find patients have other significant issues they have parasites or they have things growing in their intestine or they have bad teeth where their immune system is already preoccupied with things and they can't deal with that and the Lyme. So it's sort of a, uh, an approach where we're doing a whole bunch of things at once to get them better. Uh, ozone therapies are very good for Lyme and we find that with those uh, we, can be, we can be very successful as well as good nutrition, good diet, good sleep, things like this which just generally enhance the person. And we find that the, the average chronic patient in two or three months of treatment at our facility, probably about 80 to 85 percent of the time, they get better. They overcome it, their energy comes back, they start to feel good, they can go back to work. And that's really what our goal is. So if you have Lyme or you know someone with Lyme or you think you might have Lyme or you're walking around with some Thing that the doctors are saying one thing and you're getting very powerful medicines like steroids or chronic antibiotics or chronic things that block the immune system from working at all uh, then you probably aren't diagnosed and you might have Lyme disease and either with your own physician or with a physician who's knowledgeable in Lyme disease I think you need to get the required testing so that you can see if this is what you have or not one of the problems with Lyme disease is that the bug itself targets our own immune system so that the usual things that the doctor would look for to diagnose Lyme may not be there and that makes it extra difficult. So there are other methods to look for these, for these bugs 
and uh, you have to make sure that the laboratory that you use is using those methods so if it's there it can be found and then if it can be found a reasonable treatment can be gotten and you can get better. For more information on this if you go to our website lifeworkswellnesscenter.com there is a lot of information there's some testimonials and you can find out more about us and how we do it. Thank you.